A few years ago, I broke into my own house.、Uh, I had just driven home. It was around midnight in the dead of Montreal winter. I'd been visiting my friend Jeff across town, and the thermometer on the front porch read minus 40 degrees.、Uh, and don't bother asking if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. Minus 40 is where the two scales meet. It was very cold. And as I stood on the front porch, fumbling in my pockets, I found I didn't have my keys. In fact, I could see them through the window, lying on the dining room table where I had left them.、Uh, so I quickly ran around and tried all the other doors and windows, and they were locked tight. I thought about calling a locksmith. At least I had my cell phone. But at midnight, it could take a while for a locksmith to show up, and it was cold.、Uh, I couldn't go back to my friend Jeff's house for the night because I had an early flight to Europe the next morning, and I needed to get my passport and my suitcase. So desperate and freezing cold, I found a large rock and I broke through the basement window, cleared out the shards of glass. I crawled through. I found a piece of cardboard and taped it up over the whole opening, figuring that in the morning, on the way to the airport, I could call my contractor and ask him to to fix it. This was going to be expensive, but probably no more expensive than a middle of the night locksmith. So I figured, under the circumstances, I was coming out even. So what I want to talk to you about today are some of the things we can do in the form of a premortem. Some of them are obvious. Some of them are not so obvious. I'll start with the ob- obvious ones. Around the home, designate a place for things that are easily lost. Now, this sounds <laughs> like common sense, and it is, but there's a lot of science to back this up, based on the way our spatial memory works.